Due to the sensitive nature of the following material, all people in photos in the subsequent film, besides Mark Conter, have had their faces blotted out. If you'd like to know who the people in the photos are, Greg Greenberg will be accepting cash donations to the Mark Conter Fund later in the evening. This fund will go towards restoring the dignity Mark Connor is about to lose after this film is played. Thank you. On December 12, 1981, Mark Spencer Connor came into the world. What followed was 18 typical years of Mark playing with toy trucks. Yes, 18 years of Mark playing with toy trucks. However, disaster struck in the fall of 2000. Mark went off to college, but failed to accomplish the one goal in life he was meant for, to find a wife. You know, some people say that girls just go to college um, to find a husband. But Mark went to college to find a wife. But look what happened. It was a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never found the perfect woman. And without her, his life spiraled into a haze of despair and confusion. He started wearing ridiculously large glasses to cover the tears. His wardrobe became increasingly more homeless, using the latest fashions he could find at the Salvation Army. He lost all motivation. Nothing seemed to matter. Even his father, who he used to be close to, didn't have a solution. You know, I, I thought he'd, uh, I thought he'd, uh, you know, learn the building business, come back, work in the building business, be a success. He always seemed like he liked it when he rode around checking jobs. And but, you know, once he got off to college. He just uh, lost complete focus. He tried everything to be happy. Knowing he loved being out on the water, Mark applied to be a boat captain for Captain D's seafood. But the closest he got to the water was as the deep fry cook. Captain D's would only let him deep fry the fish platter, afraid if he was allowed to deep fry the shrimp, he would try to kosher them. He became an embarrassment to his entire family especially his sister. They don't even know I have a brother. So, um, they think I'm cute though. And I bet they think that if I had a brother, he would be cute, but I don't really talk about him much. I'm kind of embarrassed. With his life all but nothing, his mind finally turned. He lost all sense of who he was and what planet he was on. Friends often found him wandering the streets claiming to be the inventor of the seersucker suit. Marcy and Jerry Conter moved on, convinced he was completely lost and there was nothing they could do. So we, we really had high hopes for Mark. And, you know, uh, a parent can only do what a parent can do. We really tried hard with this boy. He seemed like he was motivated when he was young, uh, but he just never found the right girl. Mark's bright and promising life faded away, all because he never found the right woman to marry. Next week on Behind the Music, we'll take a look at Jerry Conter's closet desire to be lead singer in a band 